and i bring in all the wishes and greetings to dr uh, dibya jyoti uh, nandi for scoring rank number 21 in cml and neurosurgery mch and aml rank of 11 and neat uh, i'm sorry in ini ss session 2022 in november thank you sir congratulations thank you so, okay. yeah so can we know okay. your brief background from where you started till date yes sir sir i have uh, done my mbbs from uh, dy patel medical college kolapur okay i finished my mbbs in uh, uh, 2017 <laughs> following that i joined my ms in 2019 uh, in uh, sskm hospital ipgmer calcutta and uh, i finished my ms this year in july of 2022 and i have been working as a bonded sr in my um, in the same institute where i have been have done my ms from and i and i have given neat ss this time i secured a rank of 613 and i have given uh, iniss and uh, uh, cml 21 and aml uh, 11 excellent why yes. uh, why neurosurgery why nandi want to do neurosurgery sir uh, the thing is that neurosurgery has always fascinated me from a very long time i basically come from a background of psychiatrists <laughs> a lot of people in my family <laughs> are psychiatrists okay okay so the thing is that i i was a bit in uh, interested uh, in neurosciences from the beginning but i wasn't sure about neurosurgery because in the we actually don't know what neurosurgery is unless un- until we see it by uh, for ourselves and i was uh, i was interested in the field starting from the beginning of my internship so i uh, decided uh, i would uh, do as much neurology preparation and uh, and uh, mental and mental health sciences preparation during my internship so i can give the six years course exams which which came up uh, uh, post mbbs so i uh, tried for all the institutes I, i even managed to get rank 13 in md psychiatry nimans which i left uh, i uh, but i didn't secure a rank in neurosurgery i um, tried for cmc valor but that also didn't come to fruition so i realized that uh, the best way would be to pursue an ms and then pursue neurosurgery so i um, joined my ms in 2019 and i um, purposely took a hospital that had a very high neurosurgical load in calcutta ipgmer is the highest or the biggest neurosciences hospital with uh, with all other specialties combined so uh, they have around, i i heard i heard from some of my colleagues that they have around 17 craniotomies a day <laughs> so uh, when we uh, um, uh, following that i i heard that they'd give us a year of compulsory rotation in neurosurgery when we were in ipgmer so uh, i realized that if i join this institute i'll be able to make up my mind clearly so i uh, in my second year of posting i saw that um, um, i i vehemently enjoyed the subject a lot i enjoyed every facet of the topic and the uh, residents there were, were also very friendly because there's a lot, lot of hands on but i also saw that that uh, the patient outcome um, um, due to the load uh, uh, was not as great as what i heard in the central institutes which i had been gunning for from my mbbs days so i um, realized that after my ms finishes and i have to focus as much as i can in getting uh, my mch seat as quickly as possible so what do you did for that sir i basically had joined uh, speed when i was in my second year of uh, of ms so during that time i saw that uh, i um, i tried to see i joined all of the specialties so i okay. uh, i i when i was posted for a month in each of the super specialty departments i tried to see a few videos <laughs> here and there yeah. to correlate with what i was seeing over there Uh, in ctvs i saw ctvs videos in urology i saw a few urology videos uh, but the thing is that it it was it, the thing is that it was very unfocused so that so that gave me a basic idea about uh, what i was uh, trying to get but uh, it didn't build up the subject in a way that i could track a super specialty exam so after my ms finished i basically started my preparation i uh, i took my speed subscription again 
and this time only for neurosurgery and general surgery and i um, from the very first day of my bonded assessment i started uh, seeing the general surgery videos because i thought that before neat assess comes i have to quickly finish as much general surgery as i can because it will be also pertinent to my inisss preparation so i uh, started seeing your billy uh, based videos your sabistan integrated videos which were very good because they focused on mcqs which is what we are supposed to actually face in the exams there was no theory it was mcqs and the theory based on the mcqs <laughs> the dissection of the book with uh, with only uh, uh, with only those parts which are uh, required to study so i just uh, uh, so what i did was i realized that there was a huge multitude of videos i won't be able to finish everything because my uh, sship started in july and the need need examinations were were near september so um, in the time i got i started with 2x speed with all my video with all my general surgery videos i didn't focus on specialty at that time although i realized it was a very important part but i but since it was going to be a solely general surgery paper in neat i focused on that and i finished my um, um, general surgery preparation as much as i could with around one uh, with around one go but i wasn't able to revise everything completely sir like you had said five times revision i wasn't able to do that so <laughs> that's why sir uh, that's why uh, uh, it came out to be a rank of 613 but it gave me an impetus that i i, I can go for the central institutes uh, with some confidence at least so after my uh, neat ss ranks came out i started solely focus uh, focusing on neurosurgery Uh, the neurosurgery videos were very good because this time i didn't feel, I, i don't know why i had difficulty understanding them during my ms days but after completing my ms i felt that it was much more easier to understand and uh, uh, and i really like the fact that they covered a lot, lot of things from humans as well as greenberg uh, and especially dr natarajan he was uh, his approach was was extraordinary in uh, in um, helping us understand the concepts and dr sadish uh, his revisions were were uh, were very good the uh, so overall it gave me a good overview of uh, of neurosurgery but i didn't get that much time to finish all of the tests all of the grand tests all of the subject wise tests i was able to do them sporadically as much as as much as <laughs> <laughs> as much as i could because i had to juggle work with all of this because my sr ship was very hectic mm. i only got the evenings because every day um, for a, every single day in one week uh, monday to friday we had a notice some something or the other and only uh, and our, my at day was friday and i got around saturday off so from i could only properly utilize saturday and sunday uh, properly and the rest of the days i could only get some part of the evening so in within this amount of time i did as much as i could the so uh, and um, and at the end of it i'd say it's a bitter sweet experience because the ranks that i got i'm not sure exactly where i'd get because i'm not too keen on the peripheral limbs so i'm not sure if i'll have to redo it for a few more months later on <laughs> uh. <laughs> so uh, so this is basically my journey and obviously i'd like to thank my parents who were a huge support throughout my entire preparation process so uh, this is my uh, journey basically fantastic excellent congratulations we wish Thank you, you a great career in neurosurgery in years to come all the best yes, and do it well and keep yes, it all the best thank you sir thank you thank you